So good afternoon people, um, I'm going to do another, well I am not going to do this pour for you, but my friend Jilly that's come over, so we've got two Jillies, that's that's Jilly's, that's the other Jilly with a J and I'm Jilly with a G. Uh, she's come to visit me from England and she was my friend from age 17, we worked together, we've kept in touch over the years and she's been to Australia a, a couple of times now and I usually visit her when I'm in the UK. So she wants to do a swipe because last time she was in Australia, she I started you off on the pour painting, didn't I? Yeah, she did. Yeah, so she had a bit of trouble in England getting paints. The that consistencies. Correct? And consistencies, so I've been, I've given her these, she can show you these pre-made pouring paints. We're gonna use, she, Julie wanted to try with these, so they are, the um, Montmartre uh, pre-made paints and she's going to have a try with these and she's going to do a swipe so on her canvas so we'll see how we go and um, just play it by ear turn the canvas over Jilly and show them Jilly's done the same as I would do is put the uh, masking tape along the back of the canvas to keep it nice and clean and she's put the giant push pins, which are great. So say in Australia, uh, there's an Australian online supplier that you can get those push pins. Anything to do with acrylic pouring, a really reasonable price and fantastic service. Family run business. Okay, let's get busy. So first color that you feel you want to lay, Julie. You're gonna go put the glasses on. Okay, she means business, she's got the glasses. So she's going with the light blue. Light blue, mm. yeah, that one. Yeah, first of all. So she's kind of doing her a jilly wiggle. But it's my wiggle. But it's, yeah, jilly with a J wiggle. <laughs> it's your wiggle. Oh, isn't she doing it nice and methodical, so unlike me? <laughs> <laughs> At the moment it is. This is what I would normally do at home. And where I go wrong, you can correct me. And I think I've mentioned before that I have a friend that said just before she pours, she'll get anxiety and stresses out. And that's this Jilly. This is what she does. And that's what I have to keep saying. So when you're getting scared of it, it's just paint. Scrape it off if you don't like it. Or So we're trying to release her anxiety of letting go and just doing it. So she'll probably go home and I'll have created a monster and she'll be, <laughs> look what I've done now. <laughs> okay, she's going next with the uh, Shiraz. She's chosen some lovely colours. She's chosen the colours, not me. And she's going for it. But I haven't purposely gone for this because it's Aston Villa's colours. Haven't purposely what? Gone for these because these two first because they're Aston Villa colours. Oh right, claret and blue. <laughs> kind of claret. No. Yeah, she's doing it nice and methodical. My myself would probably be pouring a bit thicker than that. Would you? Yeah. A little bit, the, the lines thicker. Oh, right. I see yeah, what you mean. the paint actually thicker, you know, as you're pouring it instead of stringy lines. Because some sometimes, with the paint being a thinner consistency, like this pouring medium paint is, um, it might not stretch when you come to tilt it. Right. But it doesn't mean you don't have to tilt it every time if you've got your canvas completely covered. But I mean, I end up always tilting. And as I tell you before, is we don't worry too much about the sides because they can be either just painted in a plain color after over the edge or um, just corrected with picking up the paint that's been run off and uh, finger popping it as I call it. So she's gone with a bright yellow now Yep, bright yellow. So all of this Montmartre she's made up in the cups. 
she just added a tiny bit of um, it was just a very what what was left in the bottom of my PVA glue and water mix it's not actual full strength it was so it's basically water with a bit of PVA in it so I've run out of paint now yeah but that's okay you don't have to have every color in every spot well not if you're me you don't you mix and match but you can always just squirt a bit directly from the bottle if you need be if you want to be Let's try. so she's going to try just with these paints they really really need a good shake and you can paint direct you can paint using directly from the bottle but I've just found that I like mine a little bit thinner because I like them to the movement over the canvas but you see you know she run out of paint so you just um, what is it not improvise improvise I was gonna say diversify but it's improvise so she's now using the turquoise and my phone's going Okay, that was my brother ringing, so I'll just <laughs> put him off. I don't think I'll mix enough paint. You'll have enough paint, even with what you've got there at the moment, that would actually tilt to cover your canvas. So not, no biggie. So this one she's going on is the Shiraz, which is, oh no, sorry, hot pink, hot pink, Shiraz she's already poured. Maybe you, instead of you starting to pour from the same position every time, because that's where all thick is, start sure. from the middle or something where it's not so much, but that doesn't matter if you, you know, you're careful when you tilt to make sure you get it evenly over your canvas. It's quite weird for me having a pupil here that I'm actually just talking to and not doing it. I think it's a first. <laughs> well, it's the first video that I've ever done. Ta taught the kids and everything, but not on a, a video that I'm going to put on YouTube. <laughs> so, hi, Julie's workmates in um, so where's Alton? Alton, yeah, Jilly's workmates. We'll have to let them know that she, Jilly's got her first video up. They can watch it and uh, put some nice comments on it. <laughs> okay, she's going great. And there's the fly, yeah. Won't swear at it. <laughs> Just tell it, go away, fly. way more than enough paint on that really you know like we don't need to add any white we're gonna mm. Mm. the flies hitching a ride get out you are allowed to talk on the video Jill if you see a bit too I'm concentrated at the moment oh, okay. shh, shh. I just want all you people to know that it's been uh, over 34 today degrees that's Celsius so I think it reaches 38 and we're on 100, so it's not far off 100. Well, that was yesterday. Yesterday was 36, 37. Oh, okay, that's it. And we were having, we are having on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland where we live, horrific fires. But thankfully it hasn't, it's not where we are at the moment, not too far away from it. Okay, what I want Julie to do now is just gently tilt side, just as you've seen me to do, it's just tilting, as you're tilting to get to one end to the other, but sort of tilting it so it's, it's getting the sides as well. Just gentle tilting backwards, forwards, just just taking your time, relaxing. Oh, I think I'll do this too fast at home. Yeah, well don't, just slow it down, relax.
just relax about it that's part of the nice relaxing therapy instead of probably find if you do it more relaxed you'll not stress about it you know like you say you get stressed she does a paw sort of keep making sure that when you have tilted that you recenter the paint so I mean the paint's really good in that it, if you've got a nice flat surface it will self level so I could just see a few bits around the edge Julian just pick up some of the paint and finger pop it yep it's all going good just got this corner but don't try and tilt it over no. the corner I would just finger pop it but a lot of people just stress out trying to get over corners just use your fingers with the paint it actually doesn't make any difference it still looks nice what's that edge like uh yeah probably yeah, careful you it's only just in the areas that it hasn't covered or finger pop it and then it's blends in because you can always either paint the very edges one of the colors at the when it's all dry and finished do you want to wash your hands before you do any further so it's just it's better if you do take the time one or two minutes to go and wash your gloves off because that's absolutely fine just left like that because it kind of it self levels so she is going to swipe and she's going to swipe with a really a dark navy that we made up out of the ultramarine blue and put a blob of black and a blob of green in it and it makes this really nice navy now do you want to do your swipe from one end or you want to do swipe down because you've layered your colors that way it's so best to swipe that way no actually because you then if you swipe from turn the whole canvas around and swipe because you've laid your colors more that like vertical. that because if you do your swipe color from here look you're only going to get lines oh right yeah do you know what i mean yeah so i need to but i don't want to do it i don't want to fully drag it because that's where i lose my confidence with it well you're better off to turn that canvas so it's actually lengthways to you because then when you come to swipe you're swiping it down towards, towards yourself me. and you can take it nice and slow i'll just see that i've got that yeah in there so you see what i did i've got you we're using the soft plastic file divider that i normally use because i'm hoping that she'll not get too stressed with that and so right on the edge yeah and a bit a little bit over you know this mix is a little bit thicker than i did and besides i haven't got that's absolutely fine okay actually put that little bit on that 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 you can see that's better the consistency than i just had with the previous pour yeah and um, that was the paint that i had underneath it so that's good I would get just pop that down now wipe your fingers so you're not getting it all over you and now this is what this is how it's just to, I'll hold that tip but hold it so you only get in about a centimetre so just relax about it don't stress it's just about the top centimetre you let sort of drop into your paint right the way across and then just slowly draw it down the canvas it doesn't matter about that bit don't go back because it can always fix that up now you're letting it drop off yeah just gently just dragging it down that top won't absolutely have any effect when it's um finished because you can do some balloon work over that it seems to be dragging a lot of paint just less that's okay keep going don't stop because that's when you do waver just keep dragging it towards you <laughs> you see I'm she's going in a ziggy zone. that's all right it's just it's just practice but i'm losing all the navy i'm not bringing all the navy down look at all that paint that's behind this now yeah i know that's quite a lot you have it's all right just just relax it just takes or the only thing you've just got to learn a lesson from everyone is just let it drop onto the actual piddle pad sit and just wipe it looks very pretty i mean i really like the dark navy 
didn't want to disappoint our audience. The dog's going off, everything's happening. I've got no navy whatsoever. It has got the navy in there, it's just that is the prettiest, isn't it, where the dark is? I don't like it. You do like it? I don't like it. <laughs> well, if we'll keep going with. Do you want to use the gas? Yes. Yeah. Are you all right to put the. Yeah. Give that to me and I'll put that. So I just put the plastic file divider. She's going to just give it um, a go with the butane. You've got to turn it on and then. That's it. It's a real fierce one, that. So it is a bit scary if you're not used to using that. But just wave it over. Just I'll make just, sure you don't it. point it to the no. plastic or anything. No, so plastic just set it. on fire. Well, you'll know that's probably. I don't do the clusters with this pre made pouring paint. So just is, is it wave that off or that off? I uh, can't remember. You'll soon know when you turn it. That's off, obviously. Yeah. It's just to put some heat to try and bring some cells up, but it's not really happening. <laughs> no, careful with that. That is so strange because we've both mixed our paints exactly the same and had different results. Shocking. No, it is, and it's actually quite new. What what we'll do is we'll leave it to settle. And we'll see if, do you want to give it one? Do you want me to just try once with the balloon or do mm. you, just just once and then we'll leave it. Because you can gauge how much paint Yeah, because I can gauge, so it's just like, see then it brings all the other colours through. Mm. So if that's left now for a while to, to dry and absorb, your paint will absorb into the, so I mean, that's you can it. get some really lovely effects and, yeah. and basically this will be just your background yes. to your lovely effects yeah. so I believe that that'll turn out because you'll get all your yellows and your colours that you had before so what we're going to do is we're going to leave Jilly's painting for half an hour or so until it dries off a bit and we'll come back and do some balloon em embellishing with it so this will be fun teaching a newcomer to try and do the balloon rolls as well as kisses okay we are back and Jill has left her painting for about, would it be about 20, 20 minutes? minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. It's very hot here today. We have got a fan going. It's, it is a bit away from us, but it's drying the paint very quick. So we're gonna get in and try and do some balloon work on this canvas to see if it'll bring any beauty up in it because Jill is not happy with it, Definitely but not. we did one little balloon roll, as you can see, and it brought up some nice colours. So my dogs are fighting on the floor, play fighting, so that's the scrabbling you can hear. So Jill is going to do some balloon work and see if she can bring up the painting to how she likes. But if not, as I keep telling you, the worst is that you scrape the painting and start again, and yes, you've lost a bit of paint, but it's far better to have something that you're happy and satisfied with. So, are you all right to do your own thing with the balloon, Jilly? Or because she has watched <coughs> me do a bit of balloon. Work. I will try and do a roll. A roll, yeah. So it's like putting it down and doing kind of like an S shape, not twisting it so much, but. Well. That's a bit different than I would do, but it's brought up some lovely colours. That's the, wow. And just wipe your balloon on the... <coughs> <coughs> yeah. So instead of where you push the balloon in and you kind of twisted it, yeah. Put push it and actually roll it and not twist because you can twist. I mean, that is a nice effect, mm -hmm. but you will get more feather in. And like, yeah, if you are going to just like, I'd stick say your balloon kisses closer to the edges because these edges might be dry right but you do whatever you choose so i'm going to kiss then you're going to kiss oh she's going to kiss now so be prepared there you go Ooh, look at that look at that look at this yeah oh that's pretty see what i knew that this would happen she didn't like any of this at all she's just like it and i said don't despair because 
the balloon can bring up so much beauty because all the colours are under there Don't worry about this bit because no. it actually, from this side, it looks like a bird's yes. a bird's beak. Yeah. And it falls back in, but look at the colours that are coming up now. Absolutely stunning. But yeah, very close to the end, I would stick with the kisses because it's probably the driest. Not too much force on it. Oh. But that is stunning. Look at the bottom of your balloon. Kiss it onto here. <laughs> Just to see what the colours oh oh we've got a yeah. well, I'll show them that afterwards <laughs> yeah you could I know everybody says to me quite often why don't you after your balloon kiss in a roll and put what's left on the balloon onto another canvas and that's what you can do but look at that look at those colours coming up so what's gonna what's obviously happening is her um she went to actually roll it along because then you'll bring up those colours underneath could I could find I... that twisting the balloon is good in it when you've got different paint to this, but I find the actual sort of rolling and not putting too much pressure on it brings the colours up. Yeah, you can all by all means go over it, but if you think it looks a bit cruddy, leave it and then come back and do a balloon kiss, kiss over, over the very it, yeah. bottom of it. Yeah. But just leave it so it sort of runs back in. No. No. I would, again, I would wipe that off again, start further out and actually put it in and roll it off. Straighten the paint off. Yeah. Do, just drag a little bit of your paint on the edge. It's nothing that you can't fix, really, because you could then, when you've balloon kissed elsewhere, then balloon, balloon kiss, kiss over it, yeah. that. So just cover it up. I would use the, the ball part of your balloon and use that to roll. This I bit? Just, yeah, the very in the middle, like, yeah. And then to sort of roll roll it off the canvas. Do, do a sort of twist and a roll. See, if, if that's not what you like, then just um, wipe, keep wiping your balloon because otherwise you can... Um, get it to just send it muddy is then just do a balloon kiss over that or if you, you've got a lot of paint left on your balloon yeah so even if then you can do one on the other side of it or anything to sort of it's it's your um as I'm doing it it's, it's yeah that's the that is not um that's too wet there, so it looks like the middle is really holding the paint. Oh, look, what? But oh yeah, it's a little bit uneven, isn't it? But that's all right. It's okay. Don't. But that is probably. Yeah, that paint is thicker in the middle, but drying on the edges. But that's all right because you can always leave it again for a little bit of time and then come back. Yeah. But we might just film a doing a one more balloon roll and then um, I just want to thank you all for being with us. Otherwise, the video is going to be too long. <laughs> but I will definitely post vid uh, pictures of Julie's finished product at the end of this video and also on my Acrylic Art by Julie Cube Facebook page. Um, that's becoming gorgeous, you know, again, it's, it's got some lovely colours in there. It's bringing it some life, whereas it looked a bit, oh, that's gorgeous, look at that. That is, I mean, where the dark blue is, is so stunning, but then lots of people like no, muted colours and... It's just a pity I couldn't have got the navy yeah. all the way down. Well, you, maybe next time the only thing is maybe put a, a line of blue through the centre as well, so you take it down that way. Or maybe not try swiping again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you've got to do it until you master it. And it is just practice. It is just practice. So I want to thank everybody. And until next time, that was Jilly's um, contribution to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye. Uh, so, yeah, we'll talk and see you again next time. Thank you.